Welcome back. On this episode, we are going to actually get to work on brakes. Uh, so last weekend, we were uh, at the ranch trying to get that ready for hunting season. So there'll be a lot more of those videos to come. If you didn't get a chance to watch that one, please go back and watch it. If you're into hunting, uh, you'll get to see uh, everything that we do this season on the ranch. So I'll link that up here for you to watch that. In the previous episode, we got the engine off to the machine shop and we're able to do some work on the interior, get the door panels back on, fix the door lock actuator. Pulled all the pistons out. If you didn't see that one, go check that out and I'll link it up there. But anyhow, so 3 16 piece for my uh, flaring kit I showed in the last video, it was bent. I'll link it down in the description. I actually found they sell just the replacement bit. So I was able to get that and make this kit whole again. That was a junky kit and I don't know if it came bent or if it, uh, or if I bent it, maybe doing it on too hard of a line. I don't really know, but that kit's whole now. I can throw away that bent bit. But for this job, I found this one when I was searching for, for that replacement bit. Now I'm gonna try this. Uh, it's a completely different way to set up and, and, uh, and create the flare. Uh, and it had really good reviews, so I thought I'd give it a shot. I'll link this down in the description as well. Um, I do like that it, it's designed to do in the car, which is, which is what I'm doing. So that'll be uh, helpful. So we'll try this out, see if it's any good. I was trying to get the line lock bolted back to the shock tower. Old lines, uh, one of them broke. Go ahead and just redo all of that right there, and then I'll pull the master cylinder out, bench bleed it, and put it all back together. Just plain steel, 316. It's a kit I got off of Amazon. I'll um, I'll link it in the description. Um, and then for when I take the uh, side skirts and the uh, bumper and, and this stuff off and give it to new adhesive where it's gotten loose um, I'm gonna use that to, to take it off it's again a cheap one I got off of Amazon I'll link it and hopefully it works out and doesn't cause any problems so we'll see uh, I don't know that I'll work on that today though I think I'm gonna pull all this out get it cleaned up with the wire wheel and I think I might move this off the shock tower it's always so close to the header. It gives you much more room right here. If I move this back, and since I'm building all new lines anyway, why not? I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. By the way, I did it before I started recording, but I always take a picture of stuff like this before. I mean, most of y'all are gonna know that, but take a picture. Uh, before because not only do you get the before and after picture right uh, but to remember where what lines go to what especially with adding a new component like the uh, line lock you're not uh, you're not gonna be able to go back and look at like a board drawing to see what line is supposed to go to where so uh, so yeah just to remember where it connects to what on the proportioning valve and all that take a picture uh, that way you can always refer back to it
first to get the end lined up to file it down on a nice flat surface and then we'll spin it around and, and do the actual clamping so we'll see how this works out. So one thing when doing the brakes on the Mustang here, you got to understand that the master cylinder has a different kind of flare uh, than everything else. All right, so everything else is a uh, double flare, 45. The master cylinder itself is a bubble flare, a dinner or SAE bubble f bubble flare. So. You can see that the fitting is also different. It has this little shoulder that that's going to drive that in, whereas this doesn't have that shoulder and it goes all the way up against this shoulder here. Also, the back side of these are flat, the back side of these are 45. So just be mindful of that when doing these. Um, you can get a decent bubble flare out of a uh, double flare uh, kit. That's why I went ahead and replaced. Arbor or bit, whatever you want to call it, for the uh, for this cheap kit because you can use it to make bubble flares by going from the back side. You attack it from the back side rather than going to this side that has the 45s. Um, it'll make a decent bubble flare. So 
you should buy the right tools. Don't listen to what I'm saying here. But I'm able to get a decent flare out of that and it should seal. So I'm gonna end this week's video here. Uh, we did get all the uh, brake lines completed, so I'm excited about that. It looks way cleaner than it did before. I need to bench bleed the uh, master cylinder uh, and, then, uh, and then bleed the brakes and the rest of the car. I did get a call from the machine shop. Uh, the, the engine is ready to be picked up, so they, they did the work on the crank and the block. Maybe the next video will be working on that. So I've gotta get some parts though. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time. Bench, blench, bench, bleed. <laughs>